Hey everyone, my name is Zach Mueller. And I'm Kristen Gerhardt. And welcome back once again to Expose. I think that's it. Intro. Once again, we want to thank you all for coming back. I'm going to step over here while Kristen does the news. It's very similar week by week. Magician Lisa De La Vega is trying to raise $10,000 for cancer research by competing in this year's Iron Man, I mean Iron Woman, triathlon. It's not a very good joke. This incredible event is comprised of a 2.4 mile swim, followed by a 112 mile bike excursion, before even a 26.2 mile run. Dude. Visit her team and training page for more information on her incredible story. Magicians like David Blaine and Danny Garcia have already donated, so get involved and get stoked! We wish Lisa a very successful event and salute her for her hard work and endurance. Steve Carell will appear on the March 11th episode of Pawn Stars. In addition to appearing in the episode, Carell also filmed a short promo for the new upcoming Burt Wonderstone film, so keep your eyes peeled for that promo hitting airs shortly. Burt Wonderstone hits theaters March 15th, just after the Pawn Stars episode airs, so mark your calendars for a magic-filled Steve Carell week. Kevin Spencer's film project, tentatively entitled Bag of Tricks, is up on Indiegogo and now accepting donations to finish this incredible documentary. Why is this project important? You may be asking, and if you aren't, I'm gonna tell you Anyway, this film is the amazing story about the impact that magic can have on children and young adults with autism. Visit the product page and watch the short released on the film. It will touch your heart and absolutely worth sharing with the world. Share it. Twitter. Tweet it. Facebook it. Well, that's all for me this week. I'm gonna throw it over to Zach for the latest and the greatest. Hey guys, on The Wire this week we have a flashy, flourishy, and free e download on the wire called the rotor double it is a double lift that is completely free it's well shot well taught and well edited it's all around pretty awesome and it looks like this Also on the wire this week is something borrowed by Marcus Eddy. You can take any small object like a ring or a key and link it on and off of a key ring. Then you can take it and give it out as a souvenir with it linked to the object. It's pretty darn cool. Looks like this. Doesn't that just look fresh? Because he has a different wire trick called fresh moving on. In our weekly column Mysterium, which you can find in our news section on the front page, Jason England writes about difficult spectators when you're performing magic, specifically how to alter or slightly tweak your performances, presentation, and just the way you word things to significantly reduce the opportunity for someone to be a total a to you. And we all know that spectator. It is definitely worth reading, and you can check it out and all the previous Mysterium articles in our news section. Jason's kind of a historically knowledgeable genius. That wording made me sound so illiterate. And lastly, the Archangel playing cards were just featured on the dieline.com, which if you don't know it, it is a awesome design blog website that just features cool design material stuff. Anyway, they posted a great article about the Archangel playing cards, which includes some pictures of the original sketches of the design before it was even finished, which is pretty cool. So you can check that out in the link below. All right, guys, that is all from me this week. Andre, take it away. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this week's expose. So Michael and I got a private tour from David Copperfield himself in his warehouse here in Las Vegas. It's a secret warehouse that contains literally the world's largest collection of magical artifacts and bits of history from people like Houdini, Robert Houdin. He's even got a first edition of Erdnace. Uh, literally all the illusions that he's done his whole career. He even has film artifacts like uh, the masthead from Pirates of the Caribbean, the Black Pearl. 
crazy, crazy stuff. Our heads like totally exploded. Also during the tour, Michael James and I got to be levitated on this optical illusion that David has in the warehouse. And you can see David struggling with Michael's rising weight. So uh, <laughs> Michael will update you on that next week and I'll see you guys next time. Once again, we want to thank you all for watching. On behalf of myself, Chris, and Andre, JB, Michael, the rest of the Theory 11 team, we the hope you have team. an awesome, awesome weekend. The best weekend ever. Weekend. I went to Disneyland last weekend. That's pretty awesome. So fun. Can you beat that? Can you beat Disneyland? Top that. I don't know. Top that. <laughs> all right, we'll see you next Friday.